The Pact with Death Once in a bygone era, an elderly man named Tristan found himself burdened with twelve children. His wife's demise during the birth of their thirteenth child left him grappling with the overwhelming responsibility of caring for such a large family. Faced with desperation, Tristan contemplated abandoning the newborn in the woods to fend for itself. As Tristan reached a river, contemplating this dire decision, a radiant old man materialized before him. Do you love the boy? The ethereal figure inquired. Tristan hesitated before admitting, I do love him, but I also love my other children. The challenge lies in providing enough sustenance for them all, moved by Tristan's plight. The mysterious figure offered assistance against the rules. Give your child to me, and he shall find happiness in the next life under my care. Suspicious, Tristan discerned, wait. Are you God? The way you shine, the way you speak. I will not surrender my son to you. With defiance, he rejected the divine intervention choosing to keep his child and leaving the celestial being standing alone by the river. That night, the family faced a meager meal due to insufficient resources. Tristan's other children questioned why their newborn sibling still lived, but he remained silent. Later, as Tristan retired to bed, a cold voice startled him. You are quite an interesting man. Turning around, Tristan confronted a tall, faceless figure in a black cloak, Death. Has my time come already, trembled Tristan. Death clarified, your rescue has come. I saw your defiance towards God, and I am impressed. Unlike God, I treat both rich and poor equally. Let me be the mother to your child, and I will ensure his well-being, destined to become the finest doctor in the land. Eager to be rid of death, Tristan handed over his son, Mortimer, with a hopeful farewell. Years passed, and Mortimer lived a privileged life under death's care oblivious to his mother's true nature. When he turned 18, death revealed a unique destiny for him, to be the finest doctor, distinguishing between life and death accurately. As Mortimer embarked on his medical career, death guided him with a peculiar method, standing at the head or foot of a patient's bed to indicate their fate. Mortimer adhered to this plan until he cunningly outsmarted death to save the king. However, when death confronted Mortimer about this deceit, a warning was issued, tricking death again would mark the end of Mortimer's life. As fate would have it, Mortimer faced a critical choice when the king's daughter fell ill. Defying death once more, Mortimer took matters into his own hands, sealing his fate. Transported to an otherworldly realm, he discovered a room filled with candles, each representing a life. Mortimer's candle, nearly burnt to the bottom, revealed that his time had almost run out. In a desperate attempt to extend his life, Mortimer accidentally extinguished his candle, sealing his own demise. Death, weary of being a mother, sighed at the inevitable conclusion. The tale concludes with Mortimer's untimely end, 
a consequence of challenging the boundaries between life and death.